Have you been wondering what labs you need tested? Stick around to find out. This is all information that I have found out through our own research while going through this treatment. Are you seeing a local doctor, general practitioner, or a family doctor? It's very hard to find a competent doctor that knows all the lab tests you should be testing. Are you thinking about running certain tests through your doctor to check your hormones? A doctor that is bound by insurance standards has rules. If your doctor orders certain lab tests, they are liable for the results and being able to properly interpret those results. If they don't know enough about the test or about that topic, they might not even order them. Firsthand, I've had this happen twice. Once was with my general practitioner that found out I had low testosterone. We'd ask him to test certain hormone and thyroid levels and his response was, and I quote, I do not know enough to decipher those results. You'd be better going to LabCorp and paying their cash price to get those labs. The second time we were denied labs was when I just started testosterone with an endocrinologist. We requested a very simple free T and estrogen test. And their response was that they wouldn't do those tests because those aren't needed for treatment. I guess it's understandable for a general practitioner not to understand all those tests, but for an endocrinologist, someone whose job is all about hormones, didn't think those tests were important, was absolutely shocking to us. It is important to go with a doctor that will actually run all the proper lab tests. It's just as important that they can actually decipher those results. Now you can do a very extensive list of labs to find more about your hormones and your levels. If you're gonna be running your labs through insurance, you need a very good understanding of what your insurance is gonna cover and what you'll end up owing afterwards. Back when we weren't too familiar with our insurance, I went to go do the labs, paid $350 there, and then we got billed for $2,000 on top of that 350. We ended up having to fight our insurance like crazy for a few months to even get stuff settled. Now most reputable clinics such as Matrix Hormones will offer a cash discount. If your insurance isn't good or you don't have insurance, you can also go to discountlabs.com. You go on there, it's super easy. You sign up, pick out what you want tested, pay for it right there on the site. It's really good pricing. You print out your lab rack and then take that to go get your blood done. If you're interested, Go ahead and click the link down below for Discounted Labs and check out some of the pricing. When you go to do your labs, make sure you go in the morning because that is when your T level is the highest. You also want to make sure that you're hydrated and you got some good sleep the night before your labs. Now let's go over the most important labs. First is the one most people are familiar with and that is going to be your total testosterone. That is the total amount of testosterone in your body. The next is gonna be your free testosterone. That shows how much testosterone you are actually able to use. Some doctors have been very misinformed and just because you have a high total T, they'll decide to not treat you. They're failing to look at that, that free T that your body is actually using. So even though your your total testosterone may be at a very good number. If your free T is on the low end, you could still have those low T symptoms. Third is an SHBG. It binds to your total testosterone. So if your SHBG is too high, it'll actually start causing your testosterone to be unusable or not as active. Next, you wanna check your estradiol or your E2. Now this is very controversial because some people think you don't need to check it. There are people out there who have symptoms if their estrogen is too high or especially if it's too low. Next, you'll want to check your PSA. That stands for prostate specific antigen. It is important to keep your eye on this because you want to make sure you have a, a healthy prostate. The lower your number is, the healthier your prostate is and you're less likely to have prostate cancer. If you have high PSA or your PSA is rising, it's important that you get it checked out by a urologist. The next test is your LH and your FSH. 
Now, for the best and most accurate reading, you need to have this checked before you begin testosterone treatment. If your doctor waits until after you started the testosterone treatment, then your levels will not be accurate. Your LH tells your testes to produce testosterone, where your FSH controls your sexual function. These levels will help decide whether you have primary or secondary hypogonadism. If you are primary hypogonadal, that means the issue lies in your testes. Your testicles are not producing the proper amount of testosterone, therefore you will need to start testosterone replacement therapy. If you are secondary hypogonadal, that means the issue lies in your pituitary gland. There are prescriptions that can be prescribed to help kickstart your testosterone production. However, if that doesn't quite work, you may still have to go on testosterone replacement therapy. The next important test you need to have checked is your prolactin level. If you have a high prolactin level before you start TRT, that could be an indication of a pituitary tumor. However, if you have a low number and it starts rising while on testosterone, you may end up developing ED. Other than those tests, there are some other tests that your doctors should be running on a regular basis. Before you start TRT, it's good to have your CBC checked with differential platelets. It's important because the doctor needs to know where you're at so they can monitor it throughout treatment to see if anything needs to be changed. One thing in these tests that needs to be checked is your hematocrit or hemoglobin. That's used to check on how thick your blood is and many men experience it rising while on TRT. They're also checking your blood cell counts to make sure that you don't have any infections or diseases that you're not aware of. Platelets are another thing that needs to be checked because that is what could cause some clotting in your blood vessels that can lead to stroke. Your CMP labs are also very important as that checks your liver and kidney health. More tests to make sure you're healthy are your lipids. Your HDL and LDL are very important to check to make sure you're still healthy. Something that's good to add on to your blood work are different thyroid tests. There are many different tests that you can check for your thyroid and we'll have to dive into that in another video, but you want to make sure you don't have hypothyroid or subclinical hypothyroid because both of those can still leave you feeling pretty bad. A couple vitamins that I recommend you have checked are your vitamin D levels and vitamin B12. If you're deficient in these vitamins, again, you could feel lousy. You'll want to make sure you keep an eye on those throughout your treatment. As you can see, there are many labs that can decide whether or not that you need testosterone or not. But there's also several labs that you need to make sure you're staying up on during your testosterone treatment to make sure you stay at the peak of your health. If your doctor is checking all these labs, you need to make sure that they know the difference between normal and optimal because there is a huge difference in those numbers. And as always, if you guys are still looking for a good clinic that'll take great care of you and they know what they're doing, check out matrixhormones.com. Use that discount code TRTVETERN. That's who my wife and I use and we absolutely love them. Now, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Head over to our Facebook group, TRT Veteran, and we'll see you there.